Hey, it's uh, Chris from the Blockade Pinball Podcast. We are going to play a little bit of the Williams Pinball app, and I'm going to show you some strategies that I use when trying to actually beat the challenges. Um, today we're going to be doing Attack from Mars Survival Mode. This is going to be the uh, basically what was the equivalent to the advanced uh, level. I know they don't lace, you know, say that they're basic, advanced, or anything anymore, but uh, this would have been advanced, hard. Uh, so the requirement in survival mode for this is 4.32 billion points, which could be a little bit of fun to do. So um, with that being said, why don't we go ahead and jump right into this? Ah, yes, the connection error. Gotta love the connection error. So I always hold down the left flipper and flip it all the way over. That way I can try and shoot, which I missed. But if I actually hit the center uh, saucer target, that would have lowered. I just like to get that prepped in advance because honestly, in the scheme of things, the 50, uh, 50 million skill shot isn't hardly worth it. Now, one of the things with playing survival mode, you gotta get your points going fast. But you don't want to get the giant point and accelerate yourself too much because then your survival uh, countdown requirements are too much for what you've already had built up. So basically what I'd like to do is I like to try and get my lanes prepped, which you see that I'm doing right here terribly at the moment, but so I get those prepped and I guess I'm trying for the uh, the center shot. I don't think I'm not going to go for the loop. Or I'm trying out my safety measure of not going straight up the middle. Doesn't matter right now though, because it's unloaded balls. No. Oh, there we go. I can get two of those going before I hit the center shot to collect. Run away. And if I'm root, oh, see, there you go. Kind of got that by accident. Didn't mean to hit it, but got it. But that got me my uh, bigger, bigger bonus point than if I only had one of those lanes going. So I'm just trying to get my ball over to the uh, right flipper here, and then I'll be shooting for the other lanes. I do lots of dead passes. Part of that is also because it's going to be important if you're playing one ball, uh, what you're going to need to do. So basically what I'm trying to go for here is total annihilation. Before I start total annihilation, I want to have my center saucer shot open. So when you're in multi-ball, you cannot go ahead and open the uh, panel once more. All I just need to do is get that left orbit. There we go, total annihilation. I mean, pretty much I'm never going to actually aim for the center shot. It's just going to happen. I'm just trying to keep the balls alive. And it's just kind of haphazard shooting until I actually get the uh, down to two balls. And then I become strategic about how I use this. Which I am now down to. So basically what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to keep on trying to funnel balls up into the pop bumpers. And just collect points that way. It's safe. It'll keep my multi-ball going. Also, it only means that one at a time I'll be getting balls out the eject. Because if you get two balls in the scoop, then they don't fire at the same rate. You notice I'm always catching with the left, never just letting it bounce over to the uh, the right. So it's always catch controlled. And then go ahead and do my shoot over. So at this point, I'm already at almost 3 billion. So I'm almost to the end. And that's just by shooting up into the pop bump. And I have only destroyed one saucer. Keeping that thing alive. That's pretty good. I don't usually keep it alive this long. Bound to lose it at any point now. There we go. See? I knew I'd lose it eventually. And then I just kind of repeat. Wash and repeat. Go get those lanes lit up again. Um, I mean, I've almost beaten the, the survival at this point. Um, what have I got? One more, uh, one more star to burn down. I don't typically try and go for standard multi-ball. I usually just try and get it in... Uh, total Annihilation. 
Just because while I'm going for Total Annihilation, if I light up the lane completely, then I can go ahead and hit the center target and get my bonus that way too, my hurry up. Oh, here we go. So now we're down to the uh, final star. Let's see what we can do. See, so there, I've got my 300 million bonus right now. If I oops and hit the middle, oh well, that's fine. And there you go. See? Maxed it out. Let's see what I get for uh, for collection. Just to show you guys, sometimes I get uh, lots of coins. Because I've already maxed out all my tables, so all I'm earning now is uh, coins. Instead of table parts. Oh. Sometimes that connection does not want to go. <laughs> Come on, fetch that data. I never, I never, oh, it looks like I didn't fetch the data. I just was like, yeah, let's just end this. So, basic strategy for survival mode. Start shooting the orbits, shooting the ramps, and uh, build up towards the, you know, you basically got to shoot them three times, and then you shoot them the fourth time. That activates it, which gives you the hurry up in the middle. Try and get two hurry ups going, because that'll earn you 300 million points before you even bother uh, attempting to purposely or mistakenly hitting the center target and collecting that way. And then uh, beyond that, it's just about getting a total annihilation, keeping that alive as long as you can. And if anything, when you get down to two balls, just feeding it up into the uh, pop bumpers. This strategy, so this was, even though this was only for the advanced, is the same strategy I would use if I was playing pro mode, if I was playing uh, premium. You're just going to use the exact same tactic. Uh, the only difference is, is when you've played it that long, for that long amount of time, you might actually get the regular multiball going. If you do get regular multiball going, by all means, you need to shoot those jackpots and try and get a super jackpot. But I find this just to be a much easier way of not even bothering with that. Just go ahead and try and repeat. Uh, you know, If you can get two total annihilations, then you're good to go. All right, so hope that was informative. And... Uh, We'll be back for more with uh, more of these videos for the Williams Pinball app. Daily challenges. Have a good one.